On Sunday, September 11th, 2011, an American flag should be displayed outside of every home, apartment, office, and store in the U.S. Everyone should make it their duty to display an American flag on this 10th anniversary of one of our country's worst tragedies. We do this to honor those who lost their lives on 9-11, their families, friends, and loved ones, who continue to endure the pain, and those who today are fighting to preserve our cherished freedoms. In the days, weeks, and months following 9-11, our country was bathed in American flags as we mourned the incredible losses and stood shoulder to shoulder against terrorism. Sadly, those flags have all but disappeared. Our patriotism pulled us through rough times, and it shouldn't take another attack to galvanize us in solidarity. Our American flag is the fabric of our country, and together we can prevail over terrorism of all kinds. Today we honor the lives lost and all their families. From the two airplanes which struck the Twin Towers, to the airliner which struck the Pentagon, and to the plane which was diverted to a field in Pennsylvania instead of striking the White House. May we always remember. May we never forget. Now from a collection of poetry written within the days and weeks following 9-11. On Monday, we emailed jokes. On Tuesday, we did not. On Monday, we thought we were secure. On Tuesday, we learned better. On Monday, we were talking about heroes as being athletes. On Tuesday, we relearned who our heroes are. On Monday, we were irritated that our rebate checks had not yet arrived. On Tuesday, we gave money to people we had never met. On Monday, there were people fighting against praying in schools. On Tuesday, you would have been hard pressed to find a school where someone was not praying. On Monday, people argued with their kids to pick up their room. On Tuesday, the same people couldn't get home fast enough to hug their kids. On Monday, people were upset that they had to wait six minutes in a fast food drive through On Tuesday, people waited six hours to give blood for the dying. On Monday, we waved our flag signifying cultural diversity. On Tuesday, we waved only the American flag. On Monday, there were people separated by race, sex, color, and creed. On Tuesday, they were all holding hands. On Monday, there were men or women, black or white, old or young, rich or poor, gay or straight, Christian or non-Christian. On Tuesday, we were American. On Monday, politicians argued about budget surpluses. On Tuesday, grief-stricken, they sang God Bless America. On Monday, the president was going to Florida to read to children. On Tuesday, he returned to Washington to protect our children. On Monday, we had families. On Tuesday, we had orphans. On Monday, people went to work as usual. On Tuesday, they died. On Monday, people were fighting the Ten Commandments on government property. On Tuesday, the same people all said, God help us, while thinking, Thou shall not kill. If I knew it would be the last time that I would see you fall asleep, I would tuck you in more tightly and to pray the Lord your soul to keep. If I knew it would be the last time that I would see you walk out the door, I would hug you and give you a kiss and call you back for one more. If I knew it would be the last time I'd hear your voice lifted up in praise, I would videotape each word and action and sound so I could play them back day after day. If I knew it would be the last time I could spend an extra minute to stop and say I love you instead of assuming you would know I do. If I knew it would be the last time, I would be there to share your day. Well, I'm sure you have so many more, so I can just let this one slip away. For surely, there's always tomorrow to make up for an oversight. And we always get the second chance to make everything just right. There will always be another day to say I love you. And certainly, there's another chance to say our anything I can do. But just in case I might be wrong, and today is all I get, I'd like to say how much I love you, and I hope we never forget. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone, young or old alike. And today may be one last chance you get to hold your loved one tight. So if you're waiting for tomorrow, why not do it today? For if tomorrow never comes, you'll surely regret the day. But you don't take that extra time for a smile, a hug, or a kiss. 
and if you were too busy to grant someone what turned out to be their one last wish. So hold your loved ones close today, and whisper in their ear, and that you'll always hold them to them dear. Take time to say I'm sorry. Please forgive me, thank you, or that's okay. And if tomorrow never comes, you'll have no regrets about today. I stare in total disbelief, heart torn with instant grief. Plumes of black smoke fill the air, marking a building no longer there. I close my eyes, I want to pray, but my mind doesn't know what to say. Much like Pearl Harbor so many years ago, so many gone with one fatal blow. There are no words to explain, there are no words to ease the pain. To those who gave their lives, mothers, fathers, husbands, and wives, to all whose lives today did cease, may your soul find instant peace. We will honor you and the life you gave as a patriot of the land of the free and the home of the brave. are hovering there around that tragic scene where dust and rubble fills the air spilling ash on everything lives have been lost by thousands tears fall on every face death destruction and turmoil lies heavy in this place through it all midst in misery through labor sweat and tears we see renewed pride in America more than we've seen in years there are those so filled with hatred who seek America's fall but they cannot destroy America's spirit with liberty and justice for all. 
They may, they may plot to destroy our nation. They'll try to take our freedom too. But they cannot destroy the heart of America, nor pride in the red, white, and blue. With leadership, we shall not fail. Together, united, we stand. And together, we'll pray that God in heaven will bless this proud free land. We'll never forget the horror that spread across American soil. We'll not forget those who grieve, nor the dedicated who toil. We'll fly our flag proudly. Patriotism will reign today. The evil in this world will know they can't take our freedom away. As the suit and dirt and ash rained down, we became one color. As we carried each other down the stairs of the burning building, we became one class. As we lit candles of waiting and hope, we became one generation. As the firefighters and police officers fought their way into the inferno, we became one gender. As we fell to our knees in prayer for strength, we became one faith. As we whispered or shouted words of encouragement, we spoke one language. As we gave our blood in lines a mile long, we became one body. As we mourned together the great loss, we became one family. As we cried tears of grief and loss, we became one soul. As we retell the pride of the sacrifice of heroes, we became one people. We are one color, one class, one generation, one faith, one gender, one language, one body, one family, one soul, one people. We are the power of one. We are united. We are America. To the families, loved ones, and lost, your memory will never depart. You touched the nation, and you will remain in our hearts. While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us all be grateful for a land that's free. Let us swear allegiance to a land so fair as we raise our voices in a solemn prayer. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, light with fire.